hello dear friends welcome to my youtube channel mukesh english this is mukesh soni in this video i'm going to talk about subrata bakshi's famous inspirational speech titled go kiss the world let's know about subrata bakshi subrata bakshi was born on 31st may 1959 he's an indian entrepreneur and business leader he's the co-founder of mindtree a famous indian technology and multinational company bakshi was born to makhan gopal bakshi and Lebonia Prova Bakshi in Pathangarh Odisha or Orissa where his father was a junior government servant he studied political science at Utkal University now the speech title go and go kiss the world is an inspirational speech to the young indian young indians to those who come from small town of india urging them to recognize and develop their inner strength and thereby helping them to realize their own potential This is a speech by Subrata Bakshi to the class of 2006 at the IIM Bangalore. Bakshi narrates his story from his birth and upbringing in a small town in rural Orissa. The speech begins In this speech Bakshi Bakshi tells that his father was a district employment officer in Korapot, Orissa. He was their fifth and the last child. His mother was a refugee from East Bengal and was raised by a widow. In Koraput, there was no electricity, no primary school, due to which his schooling was done at home. Since his father was a government employee, he used to get transferred every year. He was given a jeep by the government, but he never used the jeep to commute to the office, telling that it's an expensive resource given by the government. instead he used it only to tour the interiors thus he learned his first lesson the subrata bakshi learned a first lesson from his father the lesson was to never misuse public facilities they were also taught to respect the jeep driver just like any other member of his office saying that treating small people with respect the morning routine started with tea Subrato's father had a habit of reading the newspaper daily he and his brother was he and his brother was supposed to read it aloud though he did not understand much of what was written in the paper he still contributed his good english to that habit after reading he was taught to fold it correctly by his father and his father to his father taught him you should leave your newspaper your newspaper and your toilet the way you expect to find it i repeat the lesson which he learned from his father you should leave your newspaper and your toilet the way you expect to find it all the brothers used to ask their father to buy a new re- new radio and a house of their own but their father never bought these things and they learned not to measure personal success and sense of well-being through material possession So Subrato and his father used to ask their father that please bring a new ro- new radio and let's buy a new house but the but the father Subrato's father never bought new house and new radio and the, his father taught him not to measure personal success and sense of well-being through material possession the house which the government gave them really had fences he and his mother used to make the fences and decorate the house by planting seeds people asked Subrata's mother what's the need to beautify a government house she replied that she has to create a bloom in a desert and for that she has to leave every place given to her more beautiful than what she had inherited so the lesson subrata has received from a mother here it is not what you create for yourself it is what you leave behind that defines success Subrata's mother started developing cataract in her eyes his elder brother got a teaching job in bhuvaneshwar and was also preparing for civil services examination his mother and he had to move to bhuvaneshwar as a helping hand to his brother in koraput since there was no electricity he had never seen a single fan running the water did not flow out of tap for the first time he saw electricity in houses and water coming from the taps they discussed the daily news and built a bond with a larger universe he used to feel a sense of larger connectedness with the world 
that made up another lesson for him which meant to be connected with a larger with the larger world so what is the lesson here that we should connect to the larger to the larger world during that time there was a war between india and pakistan lal bahadur shastri's words jay jawan jay kisan sparked the entire country he dreamt about catching terrorists and to read his news on the newspaper that was he dreamt and finally the lesson which he had learned here which he conveys to the students of iim he says imagination taught him that if he can imagine a future he can create it and if he can create it others will live it his mother's eyesight deteriorated in a very few years she had to operate it and in a span of time she developed a corneal ulcer and she became blind in both the eyes but she never complained she spent her 32 years with her blindness and finally the another lesson which she had learned from his mother subhato says my mother said i do not see darkness i only see light even with my eyes closed that was a lesson which he learned from his mother she would perform yoga and would do all the household activities subhato was appointed as a clerk in a government office in a government office he was blessed with two daughters and settled in usa his father was leading a retired life and had suffered third degree burn and was admitted in the safdarjan in the in the safdarjan hospital even in his critical stage he was concerned about the overworked nurse than his own state subrato lost his father but his principles and the lessons taught by his father made him become a successful person his father was a believer of british raj and doubted the capability of post independence political parties to govern the country but mother believed the exact opposite so finally what's the lesson he had learned from his parents success is not the ability to create a dogmatic end state but a process of continuous thinking i repeat success is not the is not the ability to create a dogmatic end state but a process of continuous thinking this is what subrato bakchi learned from his parents his mother passed away at the age of 82 she had a paralytic stroke he spent his time looking after his mother while leaving he kissed her face she replied why are you kissing me go kiss the world she tells him to stay connected to the, to a larger world existence live his life instead of being sad to his mother so she used to tell him to stay connected to the larger world existence and live his life instead being sad to, instead of being very much unhappy to his mother so what we receive the important message from subhato bakshi speech here so these are the famous quotations which i have collected from the speech here which gives us which inspire us which inspires everybody across the world and the first is here never misuse never misuse the public facilities treat small people with respect not to measure personal success and sense of well being through material possession it is not what you create for yourself yourself it is what you leave behind that defines success imagination taught him that if he can imagine a future he can create it and if he can create it others will live it i do not see darkness i only see light even with my eyes closed success is not the ability to create a dogmatic end state but it's a process of continuous thinking why are you kissing me go kiss the world so this is what we learn from subrato bakchi speech here that if you do hard work if you work hard definitely success will touch our feet thank you so much for listening to me thank you so much for getting inspired by subrato bakchi speech dear friends thank you so much for watching this video you can reach me at mukesh english at the rate of gmail.com 
please do subscribe the channel click on the like button for more videos on literature workbook pronunciation grammar communication skills presentation skills interview skills stay in tune with mukesh english thank you once again